Dr. Sal works on making these aerial vehicles more autonomous and more intelligent in the ways it can detect things that are going on in the environment and be able to adapt. We are mainly developing a software which can control the unmanned vehicles. Most of the current vehicles, there are autonomous vehicles out there, they will take a point that they need to go to and either take a straight line to that point or a predefined path. What this system is going to accomplish is to not need that pre-existing path. If there's a tree that the map didn't know about it, or if there's a building in the path, this system would be able to avoid that all by itself. You could uh, use these devices for things like search and rescue, surveying for uh, mapping purposes, or even uh, firefighting applications where you can get a broad view of what's going on above the fire. If they work in the group, you can have a larger sense of coverage. For the entire network, it's more robust. In an urban environment where there's not enough room to put in a crane, where you need to lift something to the top of a building, uh, multiple vehicles could lift an object up. The research that is being performed in our lab isn't just limited to aerial applications, it is also applicable in water. The underwater vehicle will be able to navigate on its own. And so you say, this coordinate, go there. The practical applications of an autonomous underwater vehicle would be ecosystem mapping in oceans for determining oil hotspots. We actually call it Proteus. Proteus was one of the sons of Poseidon. He was known for adaptability. I'm kind of interested and enthusiastic about artificial intelligence. In fact, it's a dream of uh, humankind for many years. We just um, uh, want to have a robust and adaptive uh, unmanned vehicles which can handle all kinds of uncertainties and unexpected situations in a real mission. Yeah.